Welcome back for a new edition of Pickups. And this time we're starting off with two Wii games and then we'll get some couple handhelds and then a bit more stuff and ending with a special PC game. But with that said, first up from Ubisoft, of course you have a special Brayman crossover with these familiar rabbits. Which you can get this game very, very cheap, I might add. And yeah, this game is up to a four player. It's definitely an interesting, sort of bizarre game. Though I feel like this is the game that led to the crossover between this spe one specific series and, of course, Mario. Which is now getting a sequel. And people seem to have forgotten about this game over time. Next up is a game I got for one dollar. Yeah, believe it or not, we play, which is arguably by many people's opinions to be some people consider we play to be better than we like sports. Not sure I never play Wii Sports. But I have tried out a few of these games and it does have a lot of classic stuff in here. Like if you like like table tennis or also known as pong or whatever ping pong as well as great stuff like if you like certain strategy type games a shooter game or you enjoy stuff more like pool definitely have a quite a variety here and like I said very dirt cheap next up Going to handhelds quickly. First we have, for the 3DS, Monster Hunter Stories, the original. Which is actually a really good looking game. I think it's probably one of the best looking games, art style wise, easily on the 3DS in my opinion. It is definitely cool with the customization stuff you have. It's sort of like a cross between Monster Hunter meets like Pokemon. Is probably the best way is to call this. And the fact it also has a lot of like single player actual story to it. And like a lot of the Monster Hunter games. This one's actually like a story driven game. As well as I'm sure the sequel which I have yet to actually try. <clears throat> and the second one. Some people consider this to be one of the better, like, handheld Sonic games, and in others say it's one of the worst. Pretty much just depends, I guess, on your cup of tea or which Sonic era is your favorite, pretty much. Lost World is definitely unique, in my opinion. It is arguably ten times better than Sonic Boom, which I'd prefer just to forget about those games. Speaking of Sonic games I like to forget about, but got and I got this for like two dollars and yeah Sonic 06 which is arguably considered to be one of the worst Sonic games of all time especially with glitch issues and many different technical issues with the game though for understand the 360 version did include a lot of patch updates and stuff for the game to make it more actual playable it got like more updates than the PS3 or other version did. So arguably it's probably the best version to play of the game if you're going to try out. I've only heard nothing but negative stuff about this game but I've never actually played it myself. So I felt when I found for a good price I was like eh I'll take a chance and I'm going to try 06 myself and give my own personal opinion on the game. So with that said. Next up, if you like, of course, first-person shooter games, at the time period, this was arguably considered to be probably about the best-looking first-person shooter of the seventh console generation. It was quite demanding on the hardware at the time. Pretty much to play the game perfectly, you would have had to have had a PC at the time. Though there's definitely been a lot of patch updates and stuff, but... This game is not high in demand given how cheap it is at GameStop. Like, I believe I saw this at GameStop for like $2.99. Mm. 
Next up, I already had the first game. To me, I like the artistic style of Castlevania Shad uh, Lords of Shadow. It is definitely a high difficulty game. Let me put it this way. These Castlevania games are for people who, one, enjoy stuff like Devil May Cry or games like the original God of War series. You're gonna enjoy a game like this. Artistically and everything, I actually think these games are great looking, arguably, and I actually don't mind the story overall of at least the first one. I have yet to play the second one, but I am looking forward to trying it out. Just because I actually enjoy Lords of Shadow 1. Next up quickly on the PSP side of things is a dual pack. Where you get Monster Hunter Freedom Unit and Monster Hunter Freedom 2. Which is kind of cool. Seeing like a double pack for the PSP because they didn't do a lot of these special dual packs believe it or not. Now, you can actually find some of these at a very affordable price range. And if you get a chance, check these out. The classic Monster Hunter games are definitely cool. Especially since people seem to forget Monster Hunter really more or less started on the PSP. Rather than on Nintendo, though it's become more infamous with Nintendo. We have one of the coolest collections slash compilations in my opinion period with the Metal Gear Solid compilation collection I mean look at that many games Metal Gear Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake Metal Gear Solid then VR Missions 2, 3, 4 of course also Peace Walker of course and then a couple of the others Which I am definitely curious to honestly try out Peace Walker. Never played it. I believe it was originally like a PSP exclusive. But definitely if you're a fan of the Metal Gear series. This is probably the best thing to have for old school fans. Last but not least I wanted to save till last. Is this special PC pickup. It's a game I wanted to play for a long long time. It's called Hellgate London. And yeah, boy, is this a big box, seriously. Just to give comparison stuff, just quick look. The back, love the art, yeah. This was done with Namco Bandai and EA together, which is kind of odd. It's a very unique shooter game from the time period. It was became infamous for its definitely bugs and things, but still considered to have a great story overall. And as you can see... This is the actual game. You have this, which obviously you can tell Cthulhu and HP Lovecraft played a heavy influence in this game's design and look. Then here is like some extra stuff since this is called the Collector's Edition, which you get this cool, like, actual comic, which... Sometime in the future, I might do a flip-through review of. But it is cool with the artwork and everything. And I like a custom music video somebody made with gameplay of this game on here on YouTube with music of the song Moscow from Romstein. With clips from this game. But definitely, it is cool. And I definitely recommend, if you are interested in, like, big into shooter games, this is definitely something to probably check out for yourself. But with that said, I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe. See you same next time, same time, same YouTube channel.